Hey y'all, happy Friday. We have been through a wonderful week this week in Daily Devos, and I'm so excited about where we're headed today. But um, I'm going to a different place. Holy Spirit, remind me where it was. Oh, um, so yesterday we talked about, we defined what cares and anxieties are. And part of the definition from Merriam-Webster's uh, or from Strong's, Strong's Concordance was, is very closely related to the idea of distractions, distractions. And of course, I have light bulbs and notes all over my page. Um, distractions, we talked about this in depth in Mark chapter four. And I just want to bring this back up and connect this dot to just make a reminder about the enemy. You know, Satan doesn't have any new tricks up his sleeves. He works in the same way that he always has. He's a deceiver. He takes our focus and our eyes off of the promise of God, off of who God is, off of who we know him to be, who we've seen him to be. And he takes our focus to what's going on around us. He points our focus at these cares, these concerns, these worries, these things, these stressors, these distractions. Now, we're in Mark 4, and we. this is, of course, the parable of the seed, the parable of the soil, parable of the sower. We've talked about this in depthly. But in Mark 4.19, uh, 4.18, it says, The ones sown among the thorns are the ones who hear the word. And those sown on the, um, then the cares and anxieties of the world, and distract the, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> can we stop? The cares and anxieties of the world. Is that just what we read from 1 Peter 5, 7? And he said, to cast the whole of your cares, your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him. Thorns. These things are thorns. Cast those thorns out. Shed those thorns. Decide to get them up. You know, we talked about that when we were looking at Mark 4 earlier this year, that we have to dig those thorns out. We have to recognize those thorns and not allow them to stay mixed in with the seed of the word because what's going to happen? Let's read. Then the cares and anxieties of the world and distractions of the age and the pleasure and delight and false glamour, deceitfulness of riches and the craving and passionate desire for other things creep in, choke and suffocate the word and it becomes fruitless. Fruitless. Now see, we, we are the blessed one. We are... <laughs> like a tree firmly planted and tended by the streams of water. We are ready to bring forth our fruit in its season. Our leaf shall not fade or wither and everything that we do shall prosper and come to maturity. But if we don't cast the care, if we don't shed the worry, if we don't allow him to take the anxiety, if we don't allow him to calm the anxiety, just don't even talk about taking it, but that he be the solution to anxious thoughts. We have anxious thoughts come in, my God, my God, my God, my God. We must remind ourselves who our God is and that he be enough to calm the anxiety. That he be, not just enough, but that he supersede any anxious thought. Because we're promised prospering and that our fruit come to maturity. Not that it we become fruitless. But we must dig up these thorns of cares, anxieties, worries, and concerns so that they do not choke and suffocate the word. That they do not choke and suffocate the word. I just love that so much that 
he speaks to us full circle, you know, that he does not leave anything out, that he cares so much about the fruit that you have been designed to produce. See, nobody else, nobody else in the whole entire world was designed to produce what you are designed to produce. Nobody else has it. Nobody else can be you. And so he cares so much about every aspect of our success, every aspect of our prosperity, and every aspect of our fruit coming to maturity. He cares full circle that he does not leave anything out, that these cares, anxieties, concerns, and worries will choke the word and it will become fruitless. But we know by his word he teaches us to dig up those thorns, to get the thorns out of the soil, get rid of those distractions, cast them out and on him, and we will see the fullness of what he has planned to bring forth through us. Oh, that is a good note to end on. All right, love y'all. I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye.